everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's in my colouring bag for the month of February. Um, as always, as I like to say to give her credit, this is created by Colour and Chat with Sammy and I have nearly been doing these videos for a year now and I mentioned in past videos I'm kind of grouping my pages in terms of what I want to colour just so that I'm kind of directing my colouring a bit better um I always share some books that you know ideally I'd like to get to but I probably won't um but yeah we're just gonna get started so the first book is Minor Rise of Death Europa by Rita Berman this is one of the books I'm focusing on um this year and I have actually completed the whip that I needed to finish in this I'm not going to show it just because I rarely get many pages done in my computer pages anyway and um otherwise if I only get four done, you'll have already seen two of them, actually. Um, but there was another page that I wanted to complete in here. If you're interested in seeing the the whip, that is in my recent completed pages for January. Um, but the page that I did see, which I thought would be quite good if I get a chance to colour it, is the Valentine's Day or heart page. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Valentine's Day. Um, both of them actually would be really good. I I would really like to do one of them or at least start one of them with this because I tend to use the same colour palette for a double page spread I'll probably end up colouring both of them um, but even if I don't do these pages I would still like to start something else in this book because that would be great to get potentially two pages done in this um, I have already done another wreath in here so whether I do do the heart which is obviously quite similar we'll see but they're gorgeous and really like them and this is definitely a possible page but this isn't one that I'm kind of guaranteeing to work in again seeing as I have already done the the other page but I definitely want to focus on that if I can um the next book again I have actually finished the page I am filming this on the 6th of February and I feel like I've been a bit more driven or like intentional with the time that I've had so far to to colour because last month I only got three three four pages done and yeah I just feel like I've been a lot more motivated with the with the free time that I've had so that makes me happy um I'm hoping to get a few more pages done um so again I'm not going to show this one but I did do quite a lot of it um that I shared in my January completed pages so um yeah I've completed my page in this and now I've only got mythographic odyssey to work in but I'll probably end up working in World Winter when I receive it. Um, but that's Mythographic Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. And then a couple of whips I have. These are ones I'm not guaranteeing that I'll finish this month. Definitely not. But I'll just show them to you anyway. So the first one is from Chiaki Karamomo's colouring book. And the one I'm working on, which I did share last month, is this one. Didn't get very far with it, as you can see, but that's absolutely fine. I know it's going to be one that takes me quite a while. But at least I've started it. Um, that's the main thing. And I have kept the, um, the pencils aside. I found it really difficult to take a photo of it and get the colours the way I wanted them. Because... There is actually an example at the front um, and because of that my green especially isn't quite matched up. It's a bit brighter in person but um, I could always go back later and fix that and it doesn't really bother me if it's not absolutely you know the same as this. So I'll just keep, you know keep working on this it may be a while and even if I don't get it done this month which is technically the last winter month that doesn't matter either. That's that one. I've also got Fragile World by Kerberi Zanz. This has been a whip for a long time now. It's a buddy colour with my friend Valentina. I did do more of this last month. I completed the rocks. So I was very happy about that. Um, next step will probably be the penguins and or the rocks under the water. I'm thinking of making them more greyed out sort of brown to kind of reflect the fact that the water will be on them. Um, not really sure how I'll go about that but I'm hoping once I've done that everything will start to come together because even though the coral looks detailed and stuff I don't imagine that'll take me very long so I'll probably use fine liners and stuff the thing that will take a long time is whiting out all of this um, water um, at the top like all of the foam so yeah it's definitely a you know a slow work in progress this one but that's 
absolutely fine and I'm glad at least that I did come back to it and do some more of it so that's great and then I don't think I shared it last month but I have my ongoing whip from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Bassford I haven't come back to this for a while um, I'll come back to it when I feel like it I may even decide to move on in the book and come back to it because this is a really big double page spread although having said that the next couple of pages are very detailed as well so we'll see but um, I'm not rushing to finish this book at all like my other ones so if I don't get to it for a while that, that's fine I'm just I don't want to just colour it for the sake of it and then not be happy with how it turns out so we'll see that's that one. Okay, and then moving on to ideally other pages that I'd like to do. So now that I've already completed two of my whips, I'm aiming to get at least two of the next few that I show you. So this is I Believe in Fairies by Clara Markova. This is also um, one of the, the, sorry, the other book that I'm focusing on. These are um, her colouring postcards and originally last month I was going to do this one but I didn't get around to it and also I don't want to do it this month because it just feels a bit too wintry for me um, now I really want to get started on my spring pages soon and I will do but I thought yeah okay I'll um I'll leave that one but I did find one that is still a bit wintry it's still in the winter section um, but it's the, the gingerbread um, couple here, which I thought was so cute because obviously Valentine's Day, it will go really well for that. So, yes, it's still got snow. It's still in that kind of Christmassy feel with the gingerbread. But I don't know, it doesn't um, make me think of Christmas or winter as much. So this will be a really good one. I haven't decided what pencils I'm going to use yet. Um, when I have coloured gingerbread before, I used a colour combination that I made or came up with from the Crayola pencils and I can't remember what colours they are it's really annoying so I tried to recreate it and I just can't remember I don't think though that harder pencils like those will work very well on this cardstock so I might you know I don't want to keep using the same pencils because I used Holbein's and a couple of poly colours on this and kind of the same for this one actually um, and some black widows but I'm not sure I'm not sure we'll, we'll see but um yeah I'm definitely thinking do a pink background and make the hearts like kind of falling pink hearts and do this as snow and hopefully it will come together so it'll mainly be brown green and pink so yeah that's that's that one that I'm hoping to do that might be the next thing I start, actually. And then we've got Mine Winter Spazzy again by Rita Berman. This is a, a maybe page. I did say when I got the, the rest of her books, I'd really like to do one from each of her season's books. So like once every three months. Um, if I do another page in Minor Resida Europa instead of this, then that's absolutely fine. I just love colouring Rita Berman's work. So it doesn't really matter for me what I colour. Um, I did have a couple of pictures picked out of here that I showed in my last couple of videos, but I decided in the end not to do them. And now I'm thinking, yeah, they're probably too wintry for me personally. I know I'm a seasonal colourist, so I tend to just colour through the seasons or whatever I'm feeling. And sometimes I start autumnal pages really early, um, you know, the very beginning of September time. Um, and sometimes I start spring pictures really early, which is what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, or I'll start Christmas pages early, like at the end of October. So it really depends for me what I'm feeling. And yeah, I'm not re really in the wintry mood. But there is a heart page, which I have coloured before in the um, uh, collection book that Rita's done of all four seasons. I coloured it, I think, must have been two years ago now. Um, and yeah, I can see myself recreating it. It's just whether... I do this or the other heart because they're both quite patterny and because I have coloured this one before I'm like oh should I just do the other one instead but I do really like that and it's right at the end of the book because um, obviously this winter one presumably goes up until kind of end of February time. There was this one that I had picked out 
in the last couple of months but it is quite wintry but not directly so I think it's mainly just the um the mistletoe there but we'll see either way I've coloured some Rita Berman already and I'm hoping to do more then I have Seasons by Hannah Carlson I have the well the only thing I've coloured in this so far is this and I coloured it a while ago and I really wanted to get back to it um I think in terms of the pages this is probably my favourite of hers that I've got though I do really like Tales from the Forest Kingdom but I'm not so keen on the paper um this I wanted to colour in just because I feel it's what like what I can do um, at the moment with everything going on and I just want to support Hannah and colour one of her pictures because I haven't done one for a while. I had a few picked out that I was potentially going to do. I really like this page because it would go brilliantly with me kind of feeling the, the spring vibe because it's still got um, presumably the ice melting from the pussy willow and I just think that is so beautiful and I can see lots of yellows I think I can't remember what these are called I coloured them in the flower year once and they're kind of a goldish yellow so this will probably be yellow and brown and blue and not sure definitely some green in there probably but either that one or I did have a few others picked out but I definitely want to do one from the spring section if I can nothing too detailed just something to kind of get me into the um get me into the book I did really like this one this kind of eastery page but I think I'll go for something just a bit more simple I'm not sure whether I want to try and use water media and risk ruining it because I know lots of people use water media in her, in her books and I just never have. So I think I will stick to pencil, but it may be that I I could potentially use some of my um, Jane Davenport shimmery pastels. That might look really nice in the background. But that's, that's kind of the page I'm leaning towards and if I get to it, I'll be very happy. Then we have the Ken Matsuda colouring book. Definitely want to work in this. I'm feeling really inspired to do the Ladybird um, page. I'm not going to do the Festive Birds one because, again, not really feeling winter and colouring robins at this time. Um, let me just show you. So this is the Ladybird page, the inspiration page that's given. And I think I'm pretty much going to do the colours that are on here. Not in the same style, Um as much as I love it I think I'll probably just colour it more like I usually do where I'll you know colour the whole of the wing in red um so if I just show you the the line art um if I can find it here so I'm thinking I'm going to do pastel for the background and still do a blue but I did test it out and I want kind of a turquoisey blue with grey so it's a bit more dulled and I think I'm going to border it off because I do like it when pit have borders especially when it's quite an open background like this um and yeah do something similar but i really want to work in this because joe very kindly sent me some money on kofi and i bought this book with it and um it's definitely intimidating but i feel like a page like this will ease me into it um not too detailed but it's still gorgeous artwork it's lovely um and there are inspiration pages for all of them which is why i'm kind of taking inspiration with the the color palettes for that one Okay, and then the last two I want to share with you are ones that I'm not really planning to work on this month, um, unless by some miracle I get everything else done, which won't happen, as you all know. But they're ones that are probably going to be more for March time, um, because they're both quite spring and eastery. But the first one is from the Nina Stagner colouring book. This is going to be a buddy colour with Mara. I'm very excited that we are doing another one. Um, we have picked out... Again, sorry I didn't tag any of these we've picked out this one perfect for Easter and so that's probably why I will save it because Easter's very very late this year um, it's April 17th so we said we'd try and get it done by Easter which I think is perfect and uh, most likely I will do it in March I think 
but yeah it's just so cute and I'll probably stick to just using my polychromos pencils in this because that's what I did for my other page and I really liked how they worked and I just love her style it's so quaint and simplistic but really really cute and I like that they're all bordered as well. So that will be one to look forward to. And I did do an Easter page last year on Symphony of Cute Animals, which I'm going to show you. Um, and I based the colours on um, Betty's, which was a shop in North Yorkshire. It, it's amazing. We used to live right near one. And yeah, I will probably do the same sort of thing and try and get a colour palette. But I do quite like trying to emulate Nina's colour palettes as well because she does very distinct autumnal lovely palettes which won't apply too much to this page but I can still do the, the, the muted style which to be honest I do anyway so yeah looking forward to doing that one and then also the other page I really need to get to is Symphony of Cute Animals um, by Kanika Agusa and this page was picked out as a fun challenge with my cousin Rosie and be meaning to get to it for a while but I thought I'd save it for now because it definitely reminds me of Peter Rabbit and also it's a more spring-like page so yeah this is one I'm hoping to do I'll probably use Prisma colours I used Prismas for the Easter page here and really liked how they they worked in here so yeah I think I will stick to that it's quite a detailed page so I'll definitely have to think of some sort of colour palette just so that everything's balanced and come up with some interesting green combos because I don't want to just use the same greens like I always do so maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to use prismas because I always gravitate towards the same greens in, in the prismas although I was quite chuffed with this that I uh, at least managed to do some different I guess add some different tones into it but yeah, maybe I should use um, a set where there are all different greens. But yeah, that is everything that I have to show you, really. Um, I've tried in recent months, as I said, just to dull down on the amount of pictures that I'm choosing as well. Obviously, it's unlikely that I'm going to get to all of these anyway. But I don't just want to show you know, like 20 different books when I know that I'm not going to be able to get around to that. But I love seeing people's videos and how ambitious they are. It really is amazing. And I hope one day I will be able to do the same. But I just really appreciate, actually, you guys just being patient with me and understanding that I may not get the most pages done out of, you know, any YouTuber. But... You know, I really enjoy what I do manage to get around to and kind of explaining my process and things like that. So, yeah, that's everything I have to share with you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.